Welcome back, everybody. I'm Hammer. And I'm Max. And this is Drinks for Geeks. We didn't miss you. Hope you Unless missed you us. didn't miss us. Miss us. No, we miss you. <laughs> we always miss you, folks. Always miss you guys. Yeah. Well, we got another beer for you today, and uh, Axe, do the pleasure. <sighs> okay, now I found this one on the shelf in the supermarket, which uh, is new, obviously. It's the St. Bernard's, I think it's the Abbott 12. So, so look at the, the label. It's a Belgian right. beer, from what I knew. Yeah. Looks very... Very. I think the last one we did was an IPA. Yeah, that was um. Unta. Yeah, you. Thanks for watching that one anyway. Yeah, we apologize so try a new one. for s totally murdering your name of your beer. But yeah, so what is it? Ten percent. Ten percent alcohol. Ten percent. Really? Um, we haven't had one of those in a long time. This is gonna be good. Oh, I'm ready to go. Hey, it says to serve this noble and wonderfully balanced brown ale at 52 to 56 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, so we got a good beer, guys. Yeah. It also says a bunch of other stuff after that, but I'm not going to read that to you, folks. The price on this was... <laughs> $18. For a pint? For a pint. And it looks like an actual European style size pint, too, not a... American. So that kind of means we might be drinking a really good beer. I hope so. Or just a very ordinary well, it better price be good because it's got, it's got, a, it's like the yeah. champagne as a wine. Got wine. It's got a cork. It's got an actual um, mm -hmm. twist up. It's got the company logo. Let's see if I can get it on there. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So, I love it. Good. Pretty crazy. It's in gold. Real, real awesome. All right, here, here's the creme de la creme opening. Let's see. I haven't done this in years, folks, so we're trying not to. Make hey, those are Portugal hand towels. Too. Oh, then they're sturdy. Got from Portugal. Portugal. Gotcha. Nice. That was cool. But again, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing. This is Drinks for Geeks. Smell that. Ooh, that's a nice smell. Yeah. And that's just a cork, folks. I've been to see before, but it's not, it smells like almost like champagne. Yeah. Well, it popped almost like champagne. Had that nice. Ooh, that's a nice color. Let's see if I, I like can. that smell. Very uh, here, give it, give a, give a smell. Yeah. Smell, smell. Yeah, smell it. Mmm, no. smells good, guys. Oh, we got a good head on this. You can tell this is premium beer now. And is the lighting? I know it's it's actually not that dark. It is dark, but it's not as dark as you would think it would be. It's kind of like almost a. A little darker than a bronze. Yeah. A tiny bit. Like, like a golden like bronze a dark. Yeah. It's actually a, got a nice. But a good head. Two finger. Two finger in. I, I think it worked. I think it's got better. At my pour. Yeah. No, that's a good pour. Yeah. It's a very good pour. It's got some good yeah. tensile strength on um, the foam up there. Dark golden brown again. Yeah. Bronze maybe. Looks nice. Yeah. Really nice. It looks uh, not as dark as it probably on the camera, but. Um, well, the only one thing we do better than anybody else is we drink beer. Okay. <laughs> Gotta get that foam off. Hmm. Oh, that's nice and tasty. And that's I like this. Foam. I like this. Ooh. This is a good beer. Sorry, I'm gonna borrow your um, Portuguese hmm. towel clean off that mustache. Well, by all means. It actually tastes pretty good. Lesboa. Or lesbian. Very different. <sighs> well, any beer compared to the last beer we drank. We this is a nice good. beer. This is really good. And he's back. <laughs> Woo! I love that beer. This is really good. That's good beer. I guess it was worth it was worth standing there for about twenty minutes trying to figure out is that the one or is that the one? Yeah, I mean ten percent alcohol, but it tastes great. Um, mm -hmm. I like it. it. Has a nice smell, nice flavor. 
Good look. Very, very good look. It's, well, compared, it's not an IPA. But it is, it is a nail, though. But it's a nail. Yeah, it, and it's it doesn't have, have It doesn't have that heavy, hoppy flavor that some nails have. No, it's not a pale. It's just a regular nail. No, it's... Yeah. yeah. But I like it. This is... Give it up for the Dutch. Yeah, it yeah, makes yeah. Some awesome yeah. beer. Did a Belgian beer. Um, Heineken and excluded. I. Take a look again. Look at it. Let's see. This was already the in, uh, indication knowing that this is going to be a good beer. Look at the man's face on the bottle. <laughs> Look at how happy he is. He's just like, yeah. Well, how else do you think monks survived See, all but those not. years by themselves? You know, monasteries full of men. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. That is some alcohol. Uh, alcohol. You know. What I, mean? I mean, weren't monks responsible for a lot of the flavorful drinks that we have nowadays? Well, yeah. I mean, you yeah, remember. The religion was around that time too. Mm. You needed something to go down with the religion. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or I'm thinking they just need something to go down so they could go down so they don't have to worry about the religion. Part. Sorry. But overall, I think, just my opinion, that's to have his own. We might actually agree on this. I actually like this beer. Oh, bro. It's an Abbott. Is it an Abbott 12? Yeah. Yeah, or an Abbey L12. Sorry, I didn't even know that. Put it this way. I don't know. I would have probably bought, I would probably go back, back to the store and buy a few more if it yeah. wasn't $18 a bottle. That, I mean, that's... It's good beer. That's it's, a catch. It is a, it is a pricey beer. However, I like the flavor. I like the look. I like the smell. I could see buying one of these or two of these. And you know what? Keep it in your fridge. When you're thirsty and you want a really good beer, hey. It'd be good accompanying the food. That might be, I might be heavy though. Heavy, true, yeah. but I mean, it's no get, it's no like stout, but it, it feels a bit, it feels a bit heavy. It it is. Is. I, I'm, I'm thinking like maybe a pre pre dinner beer. I would agree with that. Or maybe a pre drink. A, a a beer with appetizers leading into your meal. You know, not sure what you're gonna eat, but you know, just on that end. Cause it, it has that nice, it has that nice flavor to it, you know. Ales are good. It's been a while yes. since we've done an ale. It's been a long time since we've done an ale. A really good one really, too. Yeah, a really good ale. Um, thanks for watching. Yeah. Keep keep watching. Yeah. But uh, I have to say thank you to Food Land here in, in Ho on Oahu, Hawaii, because uh, most of the beers that we we do we pick up seems to be coming from them a lot, and their microbrew. Um, What's the other word? Microbrew and their, I guess it's microbrew. Um, that section has been expanding lately. They've been expanding a lot okay. lately. Could, so, be, could be their imports, exports. Yeah. Well, besides I've, the micro, because micro is usually here. Yeah, but in America. Oh uh, yeah, well micro, micro import and export. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's okay. been expanding, and I think it's also due to the fact that whoever they have in their um, liquor department actually likes beer. That's true, but Foodland in general seems like a really good place to buy beer. Again, we're in Hawaii. Sorry for folks that who are watching that are not from Hawaii. There is a thing called Foodland, um, but it's just your regular local grocery store, yeah. like your Red Lions and like all a that stuff. Food supermarket, you know. uh, but we sell Sears, alcohol you know. in our food, our supermarkets. Yeah, some Safe places ways. on the mainland. We we both do know that there's food, and then there's the store you go to buy your alcohol. So other than that, one thing we didn't do a review on, or I guess explain on this one beer is its actual smell. I think. Well, what does it smell like? Well, I could say heaven, but um, our it, views would all be like, "What is that?" A fictional it's, place. No, but actually, it's. I don't know. It, it it has a really nice smell, but I can't describe it. Not hoppy. Not really. Not yeah. Not fruity. Like. I don't know, like a light perfume or something? Yeah, like, well, it has malt. Yeah, I can barley. smell the malt. Well, I, don't I, know smell if, the I don't know if it's it's got barley, but it has... I can definitely smell the, the malt. The hops, it doesn't have that much... It's not very hoppy in scent. To me, it smells but like if you had an old cologne, 
and you just let the cat off the cologne and you kept it there for maybe days or weeks or months. Grandpa Stetson. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't mean like, I don't mean like an old fashioned cologne. I meant this, like a really nice smelling cologne. But you just take the cap off and you just let it there and you just let the kind of like that, the, the strongness of the cologne fade. Bathroom diffuser. Yeah. It smells like that. It smells like a very like light type of cologne or perfume. I, I can agree with that. I do. You seriously. Know? But on the other hand, I don't think many people other than us would like to have that scent of heavenly beer in their bathroom. Yeah, yeah that's true. Because it, it, it doesn't have your normal, typical smells like your hops, your barleys, no. you know, like your actual... And definitely ales, not, not... Or like, your flowery yeah, smells, the, you know? The IPA is not almost... is pretty more, more much not malt. existing. Yeah, more on the malt. Yeah, more and malt. maybe malt and... I don't know what... I, I did not read through this and I don't know if there actually is barley in this one. Um, but I would assume so because I think most, from what I remember, most Belgian ales actually do have malt barley. I'm gonna I take think. his word for it. <laughs> don't take call me. Hey, and if, hey, if I, I didn't do any research told, on this, we, 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 we don't. I'm just trying to remember <laughs> off, offhand. But if I'm totally hey, wrong, Superman. please comment. Yeah, I'm Superman. Greenland. Superman. <laughs> Superman. <laughs> But seriously, if I'm wrong, folks, comment. Feel free. But like them. <laughs> yeah. But like first, please. Yeah, just, just, just don't. All right. So let's get to the nitty gritty. I'll go first. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to give this beer an overall rating, smell, look, taste. 8.5. Holy. Really? Really. I do like this beer. It's very good beer. 8.5. How about you, Axe? 8.5. folks. Damn. You know what? I'm on point with that. Definitely. Like you folks know, I'm not a very big ale person. I'm not a very big IPA person. That's a good beer. But this is a good beer. One of the few that we've had in a long time. And um, Saint Bernard's. Yeah. Is it? Or Saint Barnabas. Barna Barnabas. We apologize again <laughs> to the brewery for <laughs> murdering the name of your beer. We're not drunk. It's not for a yeah. beer. It's not for a beer. But uh, it's really good. Saint. Bernardus. <laughs> <laughs> it's good though. Sorry. Really good. But yeah, uh, we drink it. So none of y'all have to. Unless you like it. I'll come back to Drinks for Geeks. Peace, everybody. <laughs>